Hello, I am Flash Isaac and you are welcome to my chemistry class. Today, I shall be taking you through the concept of moles. In chemistry, you keep hearing mole. One mole of hydrogen reacts with two mole of oxygen to give how many moles of dash? How many moles of carbon two oxide is required to react with one mole of oxygen to produce two moles of carbon four oxide? In stoichiometry, in titration, in fact, throughout the practical aspect of chemistry and theoretical aspect of chemistry, you keep hearing moles. Now, what is mole? What is actually the concept of moles? Take a look at something. In physics and chemistry and mathematics, we have measurements and units. We measure quantities. For example, if I say, give me 2 kg of chicken, give me 2 kilograms of chicken, without thinking twice, you know that I am talking about mass. If I say, give me 2 seconds, I will be dead. You know that I am talking about time. If I say I need 5 meter, you know that I am talking about length or distance. If I say, okay, it is 20 degrees Celsius. Without wasting time, you know that I am talking about temperature. So quantities, they have their units. If I say, give me one more, what am I talking about? This brings us to today's topic, the mole. Just as mass is, kilogram is the unit of mass, second is the unit of time, meter is the unit of length, degree Celsius or Celsius is the unit of temperature, we have temperature in Kelvin and Fahrenheit as well. Then mass can also be in gram, seconds can be in milliseconds, and so on. Mole is the unit for amount of substance. So, when you are measuring amount of substance, you don't say kilogram, you don't say seconds, you don't say meter, you don't say degree Celsius, because these are not the units for measuring amount of substance. The unit for measuring amount of substance is mole, M-O-L-E, or the short form, mole. Now that we know that mole is the unit for measuring the amount of substance, what is the definition of mole, or what amount? You cannot just bring any quantity of substance and say that this is one mole. So what amount of substance is referred to as one mole? This takes us to the definition. A mole of any substance is the amount of that substance containing as many elementary entities as there are 0 0.120 kilogram of carbon-12. Don't rush, don't rush. This definition has a lot inside. Let's look at it once again. A mole of any substance is the amount of that substance containing as many elementary entities as there are 0 0.0120 kilogram of carbon-12. To save yourself the strength, you can put 12 grams here because 0 0.012 kilogram is 12 grams. Multiply by 1,000, you get 12 grams. So, a mole of any substance is the amount of that substance containing as many elementary entities as there are 12 grams of carbon-12. And in practical terms, the mole is 6.02 times 10 raised to the power of 23 elementary 
entities. From here, we can say that a mole is the amount of substance that contains the Avogadro's number because the Avogadro's number is 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. But let's analyze here. We know that the unit for measuring amount of substance in chemistry is mole. And a mole of a substance or one mole of a substance is the amount of that substance containing as many elementary entities. Elementary entities. So what are elementary entities? What are these elementary entities? The elementary entities are atoms, molecules, ions, and other particles. These are elementary entities. Before I break down the elementary entities, it simply means that if you have a substance like this, and inside you have atoms, molecules, ions, or other particles, or just molecules, or just atoms, whatever the entities are inside there. Now, if this is the substance, and this is carbon-12, carbon-12 is simply the carbon isotope that has atomic number, cis, mass, 12. So carbon-12 has atomic number of cis and mass number of 12. That is carbon-12. So, if you bring this carbon-12, and you bring this substance, and you compare, if they have the same substance, the same amount of substance, then this substance is one mole. Simple, right? So, when you look at this, 6.02 times 10 to the power 3, you bring it here, this is Avogadro's number. Then you bring a substance. So, Comparing this substance, if this substance has the same number as the number you have in Avogadro's number, it means this is one mole of the substance. Now, if this substance has two times, exactly two times the number you have in Avogadro's substance, in Avogadro's number, then we have two moles of this substance. Now, if this is a substance and it contains as many as particles as we have in this carbon 12, exactly the same particles, it is one mole. If this substance contains two times, exactly two times, the particles we have in carbon-12, we say that we have two moles of this substance. Now, a mole of any substance is the amount of that substance containing as many elementary entities as we have in 12 grams of carbon-12. 12. 12 grams of carbon-12. Elementary entities can be atoms, molecules, ions, and other particles. What is an atom? An atom is the smallest particle of a substance that can take part in chemical reaction. That is grammar. Example, if I give you chlorine, chlorine is an atom, hydrogen is an atom. So all the elements you have in periodic table, so long they are in their neutral form, they are atoms. So if I give you hydrogen just like this, this is hydrogen atom. Chlorine just like this, this is chlorine atom. Oxygen just like this, this is oxygen atom. Now, molecule is the smallest part of a substance that can exist on its own, that is capable of independent existence, and it contains the property of that substance. If this is a substance, and you keep breaking it down, breaking it down, you get to the smallest part that can exist on its own, Now it will retain the properties of that same substance. The color, the nature, everything remains the same. That is a molecule. And now, one atom of chlorine, we have two molecules. So when you have Cl2, this is a molecule of chlorine. O2, this is oxygen molecule. So it is the smallest part of a substance that is capable of existing on its own and retaining the property of that substance. How about ions? An ion is an atom or a group of atoms that possesses electric charge. So when this atom, H, Cl, and O, possess electric charge, they are referred to as ions. And what is an electric charge? Electric charges can be positive charges or negative charges. Now, when an atom gains electron, 
it becomes negatively charged. When an atom gives off electron, it becomes positively charged. For example, this is sodium. Sodium has one electron in the outermost shell. When sodium gives out that electron, sodium becomes Na plus to show that sodium has given out one electron. Chlorine needs one electron in the outermost shell. Chlorine will therefore accept. When chlorine accepts electron, let's say from sodium or other elements, it becomes ion Cl minus. Oxygen will receive two electrons to give you O minus two. While the oxidation state of oxygen or oxidation number of oxygen mostly is minus two. So you see, plus or minus present in an atom makes it an ion. It has possessed the charge. Therefore, whether it is atom itself, molecule or ion or other, so long all these particles are present in the substance and when you look at the value, it contains the Avogadro's number or it is the same as we have 12 grams of carbon 12. You bring out 12 grams of carbon 12 and you compare with a substance. If they have the same elementary entities, if they have exactly the same atoms, molecules or ions, then that is one mole. In summary, one mole of a substance is the amount of that substance. And for a substance to be one mole, it means it must have exactly what we have in 12 grams of carbon 12. What do we have in 12 grams of carbon 12? They are atoms, molecules, ions, and other particles. If they have exactly the same number of these particles we have in 12 grams of carbon 12, we simply say that they are one mole. Or if they contain the Avogadro's number. And mole can be expressed in terms of mass, mass, volume, and number. So mole can be expressed in terms of mass, volume, and number. Now, if I give you CO2, one mole of CO2 is the same thing as the atomic mass. So therefore, in carbon four oxide, carbon, the molar mass of carbon is 12. The molar mass of oxygen is 16. We have two oxygen. So 16 times 2, is that 32? Yes, 30. 16, 16. 12, 32, 32. So 12 plus 32, that is 4, 4, 44. So the molar mass of carbon 4 oxide is 44 grams per mole. This simply implies that one mole of carbon 4 oxide will contain 44 grams per mole. Two moles will contain how many? 88 grams per mole. Three moles will contain 44 times 3. That is 3 moles of carbon 4 oxide. So in terms of mass, the mole of one mole of any substance is the molar mass of the substance. Also, we can express mole as volume, as volume. Mole as volume is simply 22.4 gm cube. So one mole of a substance at standard temperature and pressure. When you are given questions in stoichiometry, check out my stoichiometry video. I did a lot of calculations under the mole concept, a lot of calculations. In stoichiometry, in fact, everything you need to know on that stoichiometry more mass volume relationship they are in that video. Check it out on YouTube. I will share a link to the video as well. Stoichiometry, in fact, it's a follow up to this video. One more of any substance at standard temperature and pressure is 22.4 dm cube, which means at standard temperature and pressure, one more of carbon falls at contains 22.4 dm cube. So if I give you something like this CO plus O2 to give you CO2. Is this a balanced equation? No, it's not balanced because three oxygen here, two oxygen here. But carbon is balanced. So if I try to put two here, it simply means I have two carbon here, then four oxygen total on the reactant side. If I turn here to 2, 
It simply means I have two carbons and four oxygen. This is balanced. Now let's take a look at something. One more of carbon, four carbon monoxide in terms of mass is what? In terms of mass, carbon monoxide is mass of carbon is 12, oxygen is 16. 12 plus 16 is 18. But we have two moles of carbon monoxide. Now, one mole of carbon monoxide is 18 grams per mole because in terms of mass, mole is the molar mass. So two moles of carbon monoxide will simply contain what? 2 times 18. That is 56 grams per mole or whatever. Now, one more of oxygen in terms of mass will be 16 times 2 grams. That is in terms of molar mass. Less one more of oxygen is oxygen has 16 grams per mole as the molar mass. O2 will be 16 times 2. But if we are told that this reaction occurred at standard temperature and pressure and we are comparing mass and volume, it therefore means that the volume of one mole of oxygen at standard temperature and pressure is 22.4 pm cube. The volume of two moles of oxygen at STP is 22.4 dm cube times 2. The volume of three moles of oxygen at STP is 22.4 dm cube times 4. Now, here is just one, so it's one more. Now, the volume of one mole of CO at standard temperature and pressure is 22.4 dm cube, which means two moles will contain 2 times 22.4 dm cube. I hope you understand more in terms of mass, in terms of volume. Let's see in terms of number. As a number, the term one more can even be replaced with Avogadro's number. So one more is simply 6.02 times 10 to the power of man, uh, 23. So that is one more as a number, which means as a number, two moles of any substance is two times 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. So one mole of carbon dioxide in terms of number is two times 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. Two moles will be times two, three moles will be times three. So ladies and gentlemen, a mole is the is a mole of any substance is the amount of that substance containing as many elementary entities, which means containing as many atoms, molecules, and ions as we have in 12 grams of carbon 12. And in practical terms, the mole is 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 elementary entities. 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms, molecules, ions, and other particles. A mole can be expressed as a mass. The ma atom uh, the mo the molar mass of any element or compound is mo one mole. Mole can be expressed as a volume. Volume of substances, especially gases, at standard temperature and pressure is 22.4 dm cube and standard temperature is usually 273 kelvin in gas law we solve in kelvin when you are given a temperature in degrees celsius you add 273 to convert to kelvin standard pressure can be one atmosphere or 760 millimeter mercury if i am correct and as a number a mole is avogadro's number 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you found this class helpful and I hope with this you understand the concept of moles. If you love this video, share with others, subscribe to this channel, Last Nights YouTube, turn on the notification. Thank you. See you later.